All right, I'm going to clean up the little these finger notches that are part of my new knife design here. Like I said, this, I'm not following any rules. I'm just doing it as I go. And just, you know, if it gets weird and breaks, I just learned something. But uh, I made this with a uh, with initially the angle grinder, and then I cleaned it up with the die grinder. And this bit, now I'll convert it to this bit, because this bit fits almost perfectly in this little slot. So it'll give me a little bit more uniform or professional look. So we're going to run this now and see how this works. Of course, I got my uh, my mask and my uh, my glasses in place, and let's give this a quick shot. See how it looks. Yeah, a little bit more consistent there. Do the other side. Yeah, it's pretty close. I got it where I could hold it like this. So, eh. okay. At that stage, now I need to start working on uh, profiling a blade. The blade end is going to be down here, so I'm not sure if I'm just going to do a conventional blade. I think I might just do a conventional one because it's just the simplicity of it will work. And it's going to be pretty easy. All I need is something that's, that's vaguely circular and a certain diameter. And then I can make the drawing and then cut to that. Alright, I'll be back at it shortly. Alright guys, if this looks unprofessional, I apologize. It's a Morton's salt container and I'm going to use that to profile my angle of this blade. Alright, completing this with my Morton salt, salt container here, I'm going to use it to make the little angle here. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't have to be anything but, uh, but the way I want it to be. And I am not I'm just going to go from this point and then I'm just going to just make a little simple little red one to here. Okay, guys. That's about it. I'm making this another dully simple blade. Oh no, I could. I suppose I could. I'm gonna bright put this in because it might not be what I do at less. At the, at the, but I could simply do this. No. Do this. Okay. Okay, I'll do that and this. At least it'll give a little bit more character. So, alright. Uh, I'm going to have to uh, cut that and then uh, start doing some more grinding with my combination of angle grinder, my table grinder, and my die grinder. All right, I'm going to try to do a, not, not a quite a finished version of this, but I think I'll get it into a shape where you can reckon, and where anybody can recognize what it is. It's my new knife form. Uh, probably not down to, huh, I don't know, I'm going to do it, try to get the blade portion done. 
uh, the rest of it is going to have to take a little while, probably. Uh, so, so that'll get the basics be done. So I'll finish this up and then uh, move on. Scratching my head. They both shook their heads, but Gramps was the one who answered. No, we thought maybe you could pretty much duplicate the explosive bar. He said with his hands. Hey, I just want to show the current state of the knife after the video you've seen or videos. And this is the current state. And it's not bad. This is the, the original knife, the one I've been working on. Well, the one that I've gotten as close to done as I have so far. I've still got to, to fully sand that. I, I did do a screw up right here, so I've got a lot of scrapes. So I've got to sand those sand or grind those out in other words and and then uh, that will be ready to heat treat I just wanted to show you what we've got so far and then we'll work from there talk to you later and we'll see how this works out